Hello, this is Dr. Bhuvanachandra Paspaliti. Today, I am going to introduce you to my work on clinical impact of co-medication of levetiracetam and clobazam with proton pump inhibitors. Levetiracetam and clobazam are the drugs given in combinations with many other medications, but proton pump inhibitors serves to be one of a category involved. Proton pump inhibitors not only inhibit gastric acid secretions but also do fight and inhibit for cytochrome P450 enzymatic family. The proton pump inhibitors of the drugs involved in our study are pantoprazole, riboprazole, esmoprazole, which are found to be inhibiting cytochrome 3A4 and 2C19 isoenzymes. These two enzymes are meant to be involved in metabolism of clobazam. Whereas electricity is undergoing completely different metabolic pathway by hydroxylation of acetamide group. When these combinations of drugs of clobazam and proton pump inhibitors are given in a patient, these two drugs fight for an enzyme and results in drug interaction. This drug interaction has been assessed by taking a blood sample from a patient and plasma has been separated and analyzed in high performance liquid chromatography with analytical methodology and results has been drawn out. The groups that are involved in the study uh, of our drugs are divided in majorly into control and test in the ratio of 5 is to 1 in order to increase the power of the study, which are then further analyzed for the statistical difference between the groups of control and test of levetiracetam and clobazam. Whereas the differences has been depicted like this. The figure 1 depicts the differences between of levetiracetam control and test concentrations which shows no statistical difference whereas the clobazam shows statistical difference with 10 times increase in concentrations of uh, clobazam when given with pantoprazole and uh, 7 to 8 times increase in its concentrations when given with riboprazole and esmoprazole which is compared with the control. If this drug interaction or if this combination is continuously used in a patient, he might result in severe adverse effects like addiction, he might depend on the usage of the drug or depression, frequent seizures, uh, mood swings and many other adverse effects. The sudden stoppage of a drug uh, is not encouraged but the tampering of a drug dose are given with the different combinations is suggested in our study. We also suggest a further analysis with increased populations or increased uh, study size may result in further evidence of this drug interaction thing. I would really thank my uh, chairman Dr. C.H. V. Prashwadam Rudisa and our principal Dr. V. Rajkumar sir and Dr. Om Prakash Prasad sir, the neurophysician and our guide Dr. G. Vamshi Krishna sir and our team for successfully completing this project and thank you everyone for this podcast.